Hey guys, we're going to talk about the non-rebreather oxygen delivery device. So what you see in front of me is a non-rebreather mask. This non-rebreather mask delivers high flow oxygen to a patient and helps correct or prevent hypoxemia. It also will uh, decrease the work of breathing for our patients. As you will see here, it looks like a simple face mask, somewhat at the top here, but it has a reservoir bag attached. A few reasons why we call it a non-rebreather mask is because of the one-way valves that you see on this device. The first one-way valve that I want to show you is the valve that goes between the bag and the mask here. All right. And so what this will do, it allows the patient to only breathe in oxygen from the bag. Okay. So as the patient breathes in, the valve opens. As the patient exhales, that valve closes. There is also another valve, a one-way valve, on the side here, and this is on over the exhalation port. As the patient breathes in, this valve closes. As the patient exhales, it opens, allowing that exhaled air to go through this port. The non-rebreather bag or mask is attached to a reservoir bag uh, full of pure oxygen. This is the uh, bag that the patient will breathe air from. Um, this is the only bit of oxygen that the patient will uh, get from, from the bag itself. The non-rebreather mask provides oxygen at a high concentration of 80 to 90 percent and should be set to at least 10 to 15 liters of oxygen per minute. As you will see here, the mask will fit over the patient's nose and mouth. It's got that metal piece at the top here that will be uh, conform to the patient's bridge of the nose there to allow it to be secured to the patient's face. The reservoir bag is attached to the, the mask here. The re reservoir bag should be filled up with oxygen prior to applying it to the patient. Okay. So I'll, as my bag is is filled with oxygen, I then can apply this mask to the patient, okay? You do want to make sure your oxygen is running correctly through the mask as you see here with the, the uh, bag that is inflated. All right, when you're ready, apply the mask to the patient and allow that patient to breathe in from that reservoir bag, okay? The non-rebreather mask is intended for moderate to severe respiratory distress. This type of oxygen delivery device may be seen for patients experiencing uh, symptoms of CHF, pulmonary edema, or may be found in a trauma situation. While using the non-rebreather device, monitor the patient for any potential suffocation. This could occur if the oxygen flow is obstructed from the flow meter to the reservoir bag. Ensure that the reservoir bag is always inflated with oxygen during the entire time that it is on the patient. If the reservoir bag is collapsing during inspiration, you may need to consider a different oxygen delivery system, such as a BiPAP or maybe even to intubation. The non-rebreather mask delivers the highest oxygen concentration of O2 delivery devices that we have discussed in these videos so far. This concludes our non-rebreather mask video. Thank you, and we will see you in the next video.